$28. Apparently he's just gonna run off. This one looks like, tastes very nice. Got apple crumble and custard. From May 5th. <laughs> hey mister. Hey mister. Hot and sweaty? Yeah. But got the goods. Excuse me, why have you got plastic bags? I forgot to say the other bags. Is it nice to get out the house? Some of us haven't left the house in days. Hmm. I'm going crazy. Did I leave the house yesterday? No. Yeah, you went for a run. Not yesterday, I didn't. Did you not? Got my favourite bread again. I need to stop eating bread, but I just can't. Oh, you got me my bowls. Oh, I think I talked about these last time as well. I swear we just buy the same groceries every time. These are the Bounce coconut balls. I love them. Bananas, raspberries, mushrooms. Because guess what I'm making for lunch once again? I've nailed the Marmite mushroom recipe. So I will show you guys. I basically just needed to add more Marmite. But I've got it down to a tea now, I think. Mission whole grain wrap. What's this? Baking soda? Mm -hmm. What's that for? To make self-raising flour. To make self-raising flour? Yeah. Why are you making that? So we can buy any. What are you making? Scones. Scones or scones? Scones, okay. So Justin's now decided he's going to make scones tonight. This boy cannot be stopped. He made apple crumble the other day. I'll show you in a minute. It was absolutely... Insane. We had it last night with custard. Oh my god, it was so good. I don't see cheese strings. I've got cheese, I've got cheese. Are you joking? Uh, you literally said, I'm going to the cheese aisle I don't now. Know, I've got cheese. Yeah, I know, but cheese strings. Dustin got Bundaberg ginger beer. He's got an obsession with ginger beer. To be fair, it is so good. So that's that. We have one ripened avocado, which we're going to have for lunch. I'm still in my pajamas because. This is how we do this. This is how we live right now. And um, yeah, time to make some lunch. Quarter past two, excellent. Have any of your eating schedules been off? I feel like mine have been off for days. Like the other day I had lunch at like 4.30 p.m. I don't know what's wrong with me. While I'm waiting for the oven to heat up, this is the apple crumble Justin made. As you can see, we've absolutely devoured the majority of it already. His first time ever, it's so good. This boy is a secret baker, I swear. How long did it take to make apple pie? It took about 30 minutes to make everything. Mm -hmm and then about 20 minutes to bake it. 20 minutes to bake it? Yeah, yeah if you guys want to try and bake apple pie, it's so... Oh no, it's not apple pie, it's apple crumble. Uh, apple crumble. Apple crumble. And um, we just bought like some powdered custard to go with it. So good. So, this is what the... Sorry, excuse the mess, this plate doesn't look most appetizing, but... Um, basically, if you're making Marmite mushrooms, it's one knob of butter and as much Marmite as you can to coat the mushrooms so that they look like this darker brown colour. That's a mistake we made last time. Um, so that all the Marmite flavour is soaked in them. I'm so excited to eat this. It is um, like early evening and I decided I'm gonna try and go for a run. It's actually a really beautiful evening and golden hour is always my favorite time of day. I tried to do a run the other day. Unfortunately, I got like halfway and all of a sudden I got really like crippling period pains out of nowhere. Um, Cause I'm not actually even on my period yet. So sometimes when I run, it really aggravates it. I nearly almost fainted. It wasn't good, but I've just taken a Nurofen and I'm gonna try again, just to have a really light jog. I'm not gonna go as fast this time, um, but I just really wanna go outside. I'm like dying for some fresh air. Um, and I found a new little area within the neighborhood that I think is really pretty. So I'll also try and show you guys. I'll have to film on my phone because I'm not taking my camera with me. I always listen to podcasts when I'm running. I never listen to music. I don't know if that's weird. What do you guys listen to when you're exercising? Um, I've just downloaded a new um, Views podcast, which is David Dobrik and Jason Nash's podcast, which I find funny and it always makes me laugh. So something a bit lighthearted. Usually I'm listening to Joe Rogan every day, which can get quite heavy. <laughs> but I wanted something a bit more lighthearted this evening. So David Dobrik it is.
like 4.7k. I had to stop again. Why? Because my cramp started. Yeah. Such a nice evening. Justin didn't want to do his run with me because apparently he's just going to run off and he's so much faster than me. Which is true, but by the way, there was loads of people running and walking together. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to get showered and cleaned up, but um, I'm glad I got it in. <laughs> now I'm dying. Okay, we've got apple crumble and custard. Money heist. Wednesday evening sorted. So I've just pulled out this mirror, which we've never done. And it's kind of throwing me off. It's like disorientating me. But look at this dust. That is disgusting. But I think I quite like this mirror clothes. I don't know. Anyway, I've just sprayed um, all the mirrors because I'm going to give it a really good polish. This house needs a real deep clean today, so I'm going to give it a clean. every morning I've suddenly just got back into Cheerios so um, I just measure out one portion like one serving size of Cheerios just so I know like what I'm eating every day because I just want to have a bit more control over what I'm eating now because um, I've definitely gained weight in quarantine which is fine I think it's normal that we will do especially when we're not moving much but I was also being a very very greedy person I was just eating everything and uh, I think I was um, like just eating out of boredom as well and so I want to have a bit more control over it so um yes one portion size of Cheerios it's still a lot of Cheerios like it's a normal amount of Cheerios but I just like to track it so you know I was moaning about my hair in the last uh, couple of vlogs ago about my regrowth and how it's just like I hate it so much I ended up buying a box of blonde hair dye last night on Lazada I paid $28 for a box of hair dye. I can't believe that I did it because like a box of hair dye in the UK would cost like five pounds. And so it's very hard to get blonde hair dye here. You can't buy it in the shop. So I bought it on Lazada and paid $28. Um, so I'm gonna wait for that to arrive and I'm gonna try and just do it myself. I've dyed my hair always, like since I was 15, I've always dyed my own hair apart from like the last three times when I started getting highlights. So I'm basically gonna try and do like a DIY highlights with box hair dye. So we'll see that how that goes. Um, it's not gonna be here for a few weeks, I don't think, but exciting times. Oh my god. Your hair, man. Don't worry about it, it's locked down here. <laughs> Making a smoothie. A what? A smoothie. So I I think I've got a fast metabolism. So you I lose think. I lose weight really fast. So I have to keep eating lots of calories. But because I don't really like to eat many, I try and drink it instead. So I have one of these a day. Yeah, so basically if you're, I don't know, I guess bulking or you struggle to consume Enough calories. enough calories a good way to get it in is through smoothies, smoothies or protein shakes so what do i have what do you have pasang yes do it in malay oh my god do it in malay pasang pasang yep. banana raspberry don't know what that is <laughs> oh, then. susu also known as milk yep. what is this yeah Yakult. Yeah. This one's the best flavour as well. Yeah, it's like plain. The other flavours. Mm, not good. Not so nice. I don't know how to say it. Skachang butter. This is the part that people might not get. Understand. But the reason why? Per serving, which is approximately 15 millilitres. A tablespoon. A teaspoon. Oh, a teaspoon. 123 calories 
in olive oil. And it's olive oil, so your body, it's not like a saturated, it's not a bad fat. It's easy for your body to break down. I mean, you never measure this out though, do you? No, I just put loads in there. So, very calorific. Chuck loads of it in. A good way to get it in, and you can't even taste it, can you? No. Last one. Protein powder. One scoop. really loud. I think that one's broken because it's like piercing. Mix it up with a disgustingly filthy Nutribullet. <laughs> this one looks like, tastes very nice. Mm. It's probably about 900 calories, 8-900, maybe a thousand. It's a lot. So this is how I prevent myself from losing too much weight because I lose it fast. I used to be about 70 kilos, 75 kilos. I'm now closer to 90 because of these. Can't just drink these and not do any exercise. So otherwise I'd get fat. It would do the opposite. So during the circuit breaker, it's been quite hard to exercise. So I've been running a lot, 5K run every two days. Got some like makeshift weights. <sighs> the more I use my milk, the more I use them as weights. So then milk cartons filled with water, so that currently weighs each one around two kilos. Litre of water is about one kilogram. So yeah, got about 10 kilograms there. And it's enough, it makes you hurt the next day, so. That's how I'm doing it. So I stay hench. I ain't hench. I'm skinny. <laughs> I'm really, really skinny. <laughs> did like a um, kitchen cleaning um, series of stories on Instagram um, you guys can go give me a follow if you want I'm there on stories every single day if you want to see what I get up to outside of the vlogs um, but I showed you guys how I use bicarbonate of soda baking soda to clean the kitchen so we use this all the time when we're um, we want, when we want to do like a deep clean so if our sink is getting really grimy we've got a stainless steel sink um, I will literally sprinkle this all over the sink make it into like a thick paste with some water leave it for about 20 minutes and then I'll come back and just like all the dirt comes off so easily. Justin also cleaned, um, like deep cleaned our oven the other day because it was getting so dirty and he just like completely got rid of all of the um, stains with this stuff. So if you've got any stainless steel things that need cleaning, I recommend that. Um, Bio Home, I use their products all the time. I actually worked with them um, a few months back um, but I, I have been repurchasing their products ever since. We're actually almost out of the dishwashing liquid. Yeah, I love this stuff. It's biodegradable, eco-friendly, and honestly, their flavors are so, flavors. The scents are really, really nice. This is the lavender and bergamot, um, and I use this for cleaning everything. I've got one in my bathroom as well, so I'm just gonna wipe the sides down. This is fun. It's like a, I've got my own housewife channel. <laughs> I just take a cloth and I'm gonna wipe down everything um was it yesterday yeah it was yesterday um i was rambling again on instagram and i told you guys that we have such um an issue with dust in our apartment saying i don't know if it's due to the humidity in singapore or if it's to do with the air con but no matter how many times i clean and dust the place the next day there'll be dust everywhere all over again especially on our black furniture i'll show you guys in a minute what i'm talking about i found that i've been cleaning the apartment almost every day now i guess because like we're so bored um and we're just in the house every day and so if i see something that's a little bit dirty or needs cleaning i will do it i'm pretty much vacuuming every day as well but this table is an absolute nightmare as you guys know this table was already here when we moved into the apartment i wouldn't have chosen a black coffee table people have been like well, why don't you replace it then i really just don't want to keep spending money replacing things when 
this isn't going to be our permanent home so i don't want to keep buying like furniture so anyway we dust this or well, i dust this coffee table pretty much every single day and then the next day the next morning i wake up and it's just collected dust all over again and it drives me crazy clean this place yesterday and all the dust is back and it's just so aggravating look it's just horrible why why is this happening it might be because i'm opening the door and like dust is coming in or the aircon or i said like a mean justy just I keep calling him Justy. <laughs> hey, I called you Justy again. I don't know if it's because me and Justin are just like dusty humans. I don't know what it is. To be fair, we are spending most of our time here, like around the sofa area. So it probably just is that. Let me get my polish for the 10th time this week. If you guys are wondering what polish I use, I use Pledge Orange Flavor. Sometimes I use the um, Bio Home uh, like spray as well. But I love the smell of polish. I also love the smell of bleach. You guys are probably wondering why the hell I've got dead roses. Justin has asked me the same many times. Um, I thought that they were going to look cool. Like, I've seen dried flowers. Like, for example, my... My wedding flowers are still going strong. Like, look how beautiful they still look. I know they're dried, but I just, I just love them. Whereas for some reason, these don't look as good. So I'm thinking about chucking them because maybe they do look a bit silly. Although this one's really nice. I'm gonna have this English tea shop um, tea I found in cold storage. It's lemon, grass, citrus, and ginger. Yes, I was suckered in by this part. I was actually looking for some um, nice ginger tea because we've really got into ginger lately haven't we i thought i'd do a quick haul of some things that i've bought lately and i don't know about you guys but stuck in isolation i have been spending way too much money like i guess i my mindset is oh i'm not going out at ca to cafes i'm not eating out at restaurants so i'm just going to spend money on stuff instead which isn't the best thing to be doing right now but I don't know, I'm just enjoying a bit of retail therapy at the moment. So I thought I'd show you guys a couple of things that I've bought. Okay, so the first thing is this kimono that I've been wearing all morning. Um, no, I've actually been living in this for, since I got it. I think it's so cute. It's from Cotton On. Like I said to you um, when I got my yoga mat, I'm just obsessed with this green colour at the minute. I know it seems to be everywhere currently um but i just love this and it was really inexpensive and i just think it's like quite chic okay a couple more things i got from cotton on i know i only just done like a workout haul recently in the last vlog but cotton on currently have a sale on and i just i've just been taking advantage of it um so as you guys know i told you i live in the high-waisted shorts and so i bought them in this um pink color these are the softest things ever they're really flattering as well they just like suck everything in and i get these in an extra small if you're wondering so these are the high waist seven eight um leggings these are in my opinion the most like flattering and well-fitting leggings that they do um, i got these in an extra small as well in this like really pretty dusty blue color it's not picking up very well on camera um but i love these i also got this really cute little matching underwear set i see them more as loungewear to be honest they do these really lovely tops like bralette tops at cotton on body i decided to get it in khaki i just think it's really flattering like the back is really cute as well and then you can get like the matching brazilian um, pants as well they're like ribbed and I have a pair of these in a few different colors and I just think that like really flattering especially when they're worn together so again just a really nice like loungewear underwear set what I'll do is I'll link my favorite cotton on body pieces down below I'll just link all of them because um, I can't recommend them enough I also bought a couple of things from ASOS I got this satin pink uh, bandana because i want to try and get into bandanas i might be too old for them let's be honest but um i'm gonna try and make it work but i just thought this one was so pretty got this cute uh, pajama set from asos which i love i just thought it was like a really nice classic style it's actually really like flattering and the matching shorts as well 
Um, but yeah, I think this is really cute. I actually don't have any pyjamas, can you believe that? My friends have been like, oh, let's have a pyjama party, things like that. And I'm like, I, guys, I genuinely don't own any pyjamas. Do you know why? Because I just wear Justin's t-shirts to bed normally. I just wear like oversized, like unflattering stuff to bed. Um, so the fact that I've got myself like a nice fresh pair of pajamas, I do feel much better about it. And I think it's nice to invest in like pajamas or dressing gowns, that kind of thing. Um, while we are home so much, it's just these little things that are going to make us feel a little bit better about staying home. I dyed my, um, eyelashes yesterday. I tinted them myself. Let me show you guys. So this is actually without, this is without mascara on. All I've done is tinted them and curled them with um, my eyelash curlers, but I think they look so much better. So the thing is when you have blonde hair and your natural eyebrows and eyelashes grow, they're just like very, very light to the point where you can't, like my eyelashes, you can't really even see them because they are so blonde. I've been tinted them myself for years as well as my eyebrows. I did these a couple of weeks ago. I'm not gonna show you like how I did it because honestly, if you saw me doing it, I'd probably like my video would probably get taken down because I am not one to advise how to do it. I do it in a really bad way. It's a naked boy walking around. This boy doesn't wear a shirt anymore. He's just constantly naked. But yeah, if you are gonna do it yourself, um, I recommend you like follow the instructions properly. The only thing is I pick this up every time I'm in the UK. You can't, I'm sure you can get it in Singapore, but you probably have to get it on like Lazada or Q10. Q10 probably have it. It's the Isla London Dye Brow. And I get this in the shade black. But, like this cost me like, I think it's six pounds and it just lasts for months so um yeah that's how i do my eyelashes and eyebrows so if you can get your hands on them yourself i really recommend it because then you don't have to pay to get it done it says tighten circuit breaker measures extended for another week some activities allowed to resume from may 5th i guess things like barbers um home-based bakers uh what was it like tcm these medicine places will be allowed to start opening up again on May 5th, which is positive news. So Justin will be able to get a haircut. Lawrence is waiting for a new one for the day appointment. Very good. Now it's nice to hear that places I think will slowly starting to be opening up again. I think hopefully we'll be able to like go out together again soon, like go to the supermarket or go for a walk or a run because we've not been able to do that. I think like HDB gyms. Like HDB yeah. workout areas. HDB workout areas. Yeah, the nice. biggest thing for us would be if they could just open up the gym facilities again downstairs yeah. in the condo, like the pool and the gym. That would be amazing, but I, I don't know if that'd be anytime soon. Mm. But yeah, we're getting there and staying home, I think, is obviously working. So we just got to keep pushing through, haven't we? I think what I'm going to do is wash my um, engagement and wedding rings. As beautiful as they are, they are so delicate and um, the like diamonds and the pearls are so tiny that they get dirty very, very easily. So apparently you're meant to take them off um, when you shower, when you work out, when you sleep, I guess. And I'm the kind of person that always leaves my jewelry on. So um, I was just leaving these on for everything and never taking them off and I just realised like how dirty they were getting because they're not even like, the diamonds aren't even shining anymore, they just look really cloudy. So I've taken them off since I've been home just because I didn't want to get them like mucky for no reason and obviously we're just staying at home. Um, but I'm going to give these a clean in baking powder again. I did this last time and it worked really well. So yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions on how to clean rings, please do let me know because I want to try a few different um, things to see which works best. But today I'm just going to do some uh, baking soda. So why are you learning Malay? A lot of people have been asking. Why am I learning Malay? Because mm. I've worked with a lot of Malay. I've wanted to learn it for a long time. Mm. I started a long time ago when I broke my foot actually and then I stopped. I don't know why. It's, to be honest, it's, when I work, all the people I work with are Malay. Um, and we have an office in Malaysia and they all speak Malay, so it makes more sense. It doesn't seem that difficult to learn, it's quite basic, so, compared to Chinese. Yeah, obviously. Justin's been do using Duolingo. Oi, tell them your, um, <laughs> oi, tell them your hack. If you use Duolingo on the app, basically 
it's all dependent on how many hearts you have. It's better on the laptop. You don't so, have any hearts. Yeah, so if you run out of hearts using the app, you can actually just use it on desktop. Just come on desktop. And you've got like unlimited hearts, right? It's better on desktop. Probably, yeah. I think. Yeah. In other news, we've been pushing through with Money Heist, haven't we? Yeah. Actually really enjoying it. So now we're on season three. And at the beginning of season three, boiler alert by the way, so if you've not got up to it, maybe you skip this part. But I was like, really? Another bank robbery? Like, are you serious? We've just had one. And to me, it didn't really make sense. But now I feel like this second bank robbery story is more interesting than the first one. Don't you think? Yeah. I feel like it's more exciting. It's a, bit, it's it's a, bit a bigger more, risk. It's a bigger risk for action. Right? Yeah. So I think their budget's like gone up as well. You can tell. Yeah. So yeah, I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, I would quite like to watch one now, actually. Okay, we've just taken the rings out of the baking powder. The top one, the pearl one, we didn't manage to clean um, because apparently you need a specific cleaner. I definitely think that the other two are looking a bit more sparkly. I should probably buy some ring cleaner though, to be honest. I feel, still feel like they could be much cleaner all right guys i'm gonna wrap the video up here i really hope that you enjoyed it um i think it's been more than long enough um but be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe if you want to see more from us leave me a comment and we'll see you in the next vlog bye guys <laughs>